poodle. Filming how to become a poodle. How <laughs> to become a poodle. Hello and welcome to a new video. Don't worry, Ellen hasn't left Shop Style Conquer. She is currently in her room doing her assignments and today I am here to share with you how I do my hair. So we've had quite a few positive comments on you know, Instagram and, and Twitter and the blog and everything since I got my hair cut this length. So today I thought I'd share with you the different ways I style my hair, um, my favorite way of doing it, which is this kind of look here, and I've also got two other ways that I do my hair. So this is what my hair looks like, kind of naturally blow dried. I usually don't wash my hair that often, this is kind of going to turn into a confessions video, but I probably only wash my hair maybe twice a week. And I don't use any particular shampoo at the moment. I'm using one of the Lush like card shampoos which comes in like a cool little bar and you kind of like rub it on your hand and it turns into a shampoo which I really like. And then to blow dry my hair I just turn my head upside down and I'll blow dry it that way just to get a little bit of extra volume in my hair. So I'm just going to show you what I do if I'm feeling particularly lazy and it's kind of just a bit of straightening out the ends so they're not quite as flicky I guess. And usually this front bit I'll kind of do an almost straightener curl where I twist it around just to give it a bit of a, I don't know, something something. So as you can see that didn't take very long at all. If I don't feel like curling my hair because it does take a little while I'll do that and then just be done with it and it's usually alright. You might have seen this in a couple of Instagrams like here and here. That's what I did to get that hair look. But my favourite way to wear my hair is this kind of curled look. So I section off my hair with a hair tie. So I just start with the bottom layer and I curl it in quite small sections just so that it stays for longer, I guess. Um, and I think it looks nicer. Get a bit more volume as well. So I just take a small-ish section and get my curler. and curl it away from my face and I hold it there for a few seconds and then slide it out and then what I do is I hold up the piece of hair that I've just curled until it cools down a bit because then your curl is going to stay longer so away from my face and the curler I'm using is a Numi one that we got with one of those deals that all the YouTubers have and it's the Titan 3 one and I use the smallest wand. So it does take a little while with the waiting for the curl to cool down and everything and doing the small sections. So I recommend sticking on a playlist and having just a little jam. Sometimes I do a little dance while I'm holding the curl. Um, yeah. So then I'm just going to take another section down and when I curl it around the barrel I make sure the hair is flat um, just because then you get more hair in contact with the barrel so it will be a better curl um, but I kind of don't mind when it gets twisted because you kind of get this cool kinky effect so whatever floats your boat I missed a bit oh well add it into the other curl. Okay, last section. Woo! If I can get the hair tie out. Yeah. Okay, so that is the curling done. And it kind of looks like a poodle at this point, but don't panic. It, it will get there, it will get there. Sometimes I'll go to bed like this and then finish the rest in the morning because it gets kind of messed up anyway. But if I'm going to go out straight away, what I like to do is kind of break up the curls with my fingers. Um, I'll usually just tip my head upside down and do it, but for filming purposes, just making it look messier, I guess. Oh no, I missed a piece. Okay, let's go out quickly. So then what I like to do is I like to get my hair straightener and straighten just the ends of the curls. Just finishes off the look for me. Now if you're really skilled with a hair curler, you can probably curl your hair without curling the ends. I just find that when I do that, it doesn't look as, I don't know, on point. It just doesn't have the same effect. So I tend to do it this way, which seems kind of silly, but it works. 
And then what I like to do, again, weird, because we just went to all that effort of curling our hair, is take my hair straightener through any curls that are looking a bit too much. So like, this bit, this bit here is just a bit too much, so I'm just gonna straighten it out a bit. I don't know what I did with this part. And sometimes if there's a little bit less curly than I'd like, I'll go back in with the hair curler and just give it a last little wave. And then I kind of give it a little zhuzh, I guess. And that's how I do it. And so that is kind of the curly look that you will see in quite a lot of my photos because this is my favourite way of wearing my hair. And usually because I don't wash my hair so often, I'll leave this like this for a few days and it will get sort of progressively wavier and less intense curls. As you can see here, it's sort of a little bit wavier. And in terms of brushing it, I don't really brush my hair that much, as much as my mum will hate me saying that. Um, I do use a tangle teaser like when I've just washed my hair and I'll get out all the knots and stuff like that but after I've curled it I don't tend to brush it that much I'll just sort of put my fingers through it and get out any intense knots but I'll sort of just leave it while it's curly so one of the things about this length of haircut that kind of broke my heart a little bit was that I could no longer do a pineapple bun so like cut a bun on top of your head where you just throw your hair up and it's done but recently I figured out a way of getting a pineapple bun kind of the same but with this short hair. So as you can see when I do a bun like this, these bits start to fall out. And they just fall out and then you end up with this kind of like mullety looking thing and that's, that's not what I want, that's not what I want. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull down all the bits that would usually fall out. So you might have a lot, you might have less. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab them, you're gonna pull them up as if you were gonna stick them back into the bun. And then you're going to tie the hair tie around sort of near the ends. So you end up with kind of like a little ponytail thing with the hair tie down a bit lower and these sort of ends. So that's going to hold all your ends together. And I'm just going to undo the top bit and redo it. So tidy it up a bit. And then tie it like you would not usually do your butt. So I kind of do a bit of that, I don't know, whatever's, whatever's going. This is just a messy bun. I've found that that little hair tie holds in the extra mullety bits. And you can go about your pineapple bun days. It's kind of like a short hair hack. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found this helpful or interesting or something. If you did, give it a like um, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. They're not always hair videos, but they might be beauty or fashion. Or you can check out our blog where we post, you know, a couple of times a week. And until next week, bye! Perfect. This is how I'm gonna do my whole video. Everyone's gonna be like, why don't you use heat protected? I don't know, I'm lazy. Ellen. Like, after a broke Ellen! I need a hair tie. They're on my dinosaur. Hogwarts. Leviosa, not Leviosa. Why the lighting? What is this? Like, look at this white. <laughs>